in the past, uh, hitting the oil and gas company. So it could be a good opportunity also to learn the lessons across the oil and gas companies in the GCC or in the world. Zia, can you reflect on this one from the kingdom point of view, from Sadara point of view, and uh, if there's any initiatives which is, can build the linkage for the future? Yeah, we, uh, it's, uh, as uh, my uh, two distinguished uh, guests, colleagues mentioned, uh, there isn't enough communication and collaboration. The opportunities are great. It's not until you get hit that you understand how weak you really are. You, uh, you, the only way that you're going to be able to overcome this is to actually build your, your uh, technology and understanding of what's happening every single day. And that has to be done, whether it be through the government. In Saudi Arabia, we have the National Cybersecurity uh, Center, which gives you routine updates whenever there's a threat. Uh, but uh, the companies do not speak with each other. The only time that we speak with each other is once we get hit, we also talk with other companies that, that have been hit. And that's not enough. That's too late. That's after the fact. We, we need... Uh, forums like this one to actually communicate and collaborate and most importantly share the uh, experiences in the business interruption. Any initiatives in the kingdom which is around this issue, how you are collaborating, which is maybe we can learn from? What, what, we've, what we've done is we've actually started internally and we, we've, we've learned as a result of this that you need to be able to go to manual operations immediately. And that was something we had never planned. We, you know, when we do business interruption, we never figure that the whole system would come down. We would lose all the IT, we would lose all the communication, we would lose all the alarms. We lost everything. And it wasn't until that happened that we said, you know what, we need to be able to switch back to a manual system at any time. And once you were able to do that, then you should be willing to take that out and share it. And today we don't have that opportunity. And I think I'm hoping that what comes out of this forum is we look at how we can collaborate and we can share with each other the experiences that we've had so we can overcome them. Because we're going to, you get hacked or attempts to hack every single day. Yeah, some of which you know about. It's the ones you don't know about that'll bring you down. Again, I mean, for the one in the operation, they recognize the magnitude when you switch to manual. That's not something, by the way, simple. On the people which is working in the ground to shift to manual, it's a nightmare, which is to really manage the whole thing and get it safely and either shut it down or really deal with it. So this is really not something simple. It's really something uh, huge and really the risk also to do that a quick shift and alhamdulillah I mean Saidara was able to do it uh, is really not that simple. I'm running out of time just uh, let me start with you for your final word. I think my final word is uh, this conference is an opportunity to share the knowledge and the know-how about how to integrate between OT and IT, how to address the cyber security issue. So we need to take this opportunity. There is a lot of people who are expert in this area attending this conference, a lot of sessions. So this is an opportunity to take it. This is for the audience. As uh, for the leaders, I think uh, we should be committed, provide support, as Bukazi said, to the OT and the IT people to address this challenge. Uh, we should put it in the top of our agenda as a board, uh, in the board, or as a, uh, as a top management. Uh, this is, and also we should aware our people about the importance of this uh, cyber security issue and uh, build their capability on that. Ziad? Network, network, network. You should use these opportunities to build relationships with people that from today forward you can pick up the cell phone and talk to when you come into a problem. This is what you need to do at this forum. Uh, you're not going to solve all the problems here, but at least build the relationships so that in the future you have a means and a way to communicate and share. Bukhazi? 
Well, I think uh, just to comment what just mentioned by Ziad and Wafa, this is a great opportunity. I'm very happy to see a lot of our uh, IT uh, experts uh, in this uh, conference, including sitting together with our OT. So please, uh, you have to really work very hard uh, in order to address the challenge. The challenge is, is, is moving and Whatever you achieve for security is, is not, a, it's a, not a target that it's a moving target. You have to really be every day uh, aware and you have to be ready for anything could happen. So utilize this opportunity to uh, work together and um, I'll be very happy to see if there is something like you know networking or, or a cross-functional team across K company is working very hard on this moving forward also to share with your colleagues outside. Uh, you will get the support, uh, don't hesitate to ask, you'll get the support, the resources, in order to keep, at the end of the day, our facility safe and our resources is safe. Thank you. Again, uh, before I close this session, I would like to thank you really for being here. There's some uh, noise in the back, but I bear it. I didn't throw anything yet, so it's over now. Uh, so, but uh, again, I think the message from the leaders, this is serious. Your commitment as a leader is required. Making sure that people are informed is really critical. Ensuring that we network and share the knowledge is something which is very critical for us. And finally, above all of that one, we need to make sure that we can collaborate and work together to ensure a safer cyber for our futures. We understand this is fast-moving uh, topics. The technology doesn't stop. It's really continuous, and it will continue doing that for us. Today, the role of the chief information officer, it doesn't have to be the title, but making sure there's somebody which is looking after this information and looking after this one is becoming very critical. Uh, Mr. Mohammed Lumtari in his speech, he talked about the continuity of the network and the continuity of dialogue in, among the professional and even the leaders. We can have annual forums where the leaders sit and talk, but our professional, we need to create, as he mentioned in his opening speech, a forum for them. We need to create that networking forum for them for the continuous. Uh, Mr. Nizal Atsani, and this is the quiz by the way the day, he talked about the strategy of three Ds. And you need to recall what the three Ds is or are actually. So he mentioned three Ds as a strategy which is we need to build in his open speech to really hopefully uh, serve through this is very rough, uh, let me say, hacking uh, water and uh, we need really to survive because that's our way. We cannot really uh, jeopardize that one. Reliabilities, reliabilities, reliabilities will become very critical. Uh, please uh, thank with me Mr. Uh, Ziad Al-Labban from Sadara and Ms. Wafa Zaabi and Mr. Mohammed Lamperi. Thank you very much. <laughs>